Today I'm going to show you how to create a XML sitemap file using a tool called Xenu's Link Sleuth. Uh, real quick note, Z Lord Xenu is a deity or figure in Scientology and I apologize if this is offensive to any Scientologists out there. Uh, it's a great tool. I don't think the author meant anything uh, uh, really offensive by it, but anyway. Uh, what you want to do is search for uh, Xenu, which is X-E-N-U, Xenu's Link Sleuth and you want to uh, download it from this snafu.de site. This is the author's site. There are some copies of Xenu's Link Sleuth running around that have some malware in them, so make sure you get them from the uh, originator site, which is this, uh, again, snafu.de. Anyway, uh, once you've uh, found the site here and, and uh, downloaded the software, go ahead and fire it up, and uh, you're going to go ahead and put in a URL that you want to have your sitemap, your XML sitemap created for. So in this situation, we're going to create an XML sitemap for uh, sporkmarketing.com, which will take us a little while because sporkmarketing.com is a somewhat large site. But basically what this, is, uh, this tool will do is it's going to go through and check each and every page of content on Spork Marketing. And it's going to take every link uh, that it finds and crawl it uh, to until that, that link points to an out, outside source or until it hits a dead end. Um, if you look at what's going on down here in the lower right, uh, there's 385, now 400 URLs, now 420, whatever. It, it, basically what's happening is every time it finds a new page, it finds more URLs to check. And then uh, you'll see there's a thread limit here as well, and this is the number of, um, number of bots that we've got uh, simultaneously crawling the site. So uh, this obviously can put a load on a server. And for that reason, if you use Xenu's uh, Link Sleuth on some sites, like Wikipedia, for instance, uh, Wikipedia blocks the blocks the software because it puts too much of a load on the site. Um, the other reason that uh, I mention these threads and, and site blocking is that uh, when you do find a, you can sort the links that Xenu finds by status type, which you want to do. Uh, you will get an occasional forbidden request. And that is why, because uh, either Google, in this case it's Google, validator.w3.org, and Wikipedia are all blocking our bot. Uh, so that's what that forbidden request means. But anyway, I'm not going to make you wait. Once this is all done, I'll show you what to do uh, in terms of sorting these links by status. All right, so when the crawler's done checking your site, it'll give you this cool report, and I encourage you to check this out and play with this tool. I'm not going to show you this report right now, but basically it gives you a lot of data on your site, and um, it, like I say, there's a lot to see here, so uh, play around with it a little bit. Anyway, uh, the first thing we want to do when we get this uh, your crawl is complete site uh, message is we want to check uh, this sort by status and check for any pages on our site that didn't load, either because there was a server issue, uh, or whatever. So uh, I'm not seeing anything on sporkmarketing.com here in red under not found, no such host, re re forbidden request. Typically not found and no such hosts are bad links, by the way. Uh, so we'll go ahead and check up here at the top. Um, unsupported media types, server error. Okay, good news. So basically it looks like there aren't any issues. Oftentimes you'll find that um, depending upon your host, there are some bad links uh, or there's some links that show uh, timed out or canceled. In reality, they're just fine. It's just that the server was overwhelmed. Uh, so you need to retry any broken links. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. It shouldn't take long. Once you've retried your, all your broken links and you're confident that your site is uh, as crawled as it can be, then you go ahead uh, to go to the file menu and uh, you're going to create a Google sitemap file. And it'll create an XML uh, sitemap file in the exact format that Google and Bing and all the other search engines want. Uh, to, to use to crawl your site. So this is how you create a sitemap file uh, using Xenu's Link Sleuth. I'll give you a couple of tips here while we're looking at Xenu uh, in terms of SEO. The first tip is that um, you can use this to find broken links on other people's sites and once you find those broken links you can contact them and say hey I noticed that you linked to a competitor of ours that's no longer in business and that you know that link is now broken so I'm thinking maybe you want to fix that link and since I pointed it out you can link to me. Obviously you'd say it a lot different than that in a much nicer way but uh, that's one tip that I have. Another tip that I have is make sure you use this on your sites on a regular basis just to check for and, and find problems. Uh, anyway, thanks uh, and good luck to you.